Hello, I am Maurice Moneni. In today's session, we are going to discuss uh, the role reduction method to solve for the unknown in the following set of simultaneous equation. So for us to be able to use this role reduction method, we need first of all to form a matrix from these simultaneous equations that we have here. And to form this matrix, we shall have one we shall have let me take my highlighter here so that we can be able to highlight it so to form our matrix here we have one we have uh, one because the coefficient of x is one we also have the coefficient of y being one and also we have the coefficient of two or z being two and then we have the coefficient of x in the second row is two and then we have the second one is four and then we have negative three then we have three and then we have six and then we have negative five then we have negative five then we also have a nine one zero so we can lay on the other unknowns that is x y and z on this side because that is our end goal that we need to have at the end of getting the, our result so then the first thing that we need to have we we know that for us to be able to reduce as the name suggests row reduction method we need to reduce these rows to an identity matrix that is a identity matrix of a three by three which is one zero zero then zero one zero then zero zero and one so that is our hand goal that we are supposed to achieve so that we can get the values of these unknowns remember our objective is not predetermined so we can use any route for us to arrive at that and for us to be able to arrive at that our first element there is already one so we don't need to make it one so let us go to the second law and try to make two to, to try to make these two to be uh, to be zero so and how can we achieve that how we can achieve that I think we can take negative two negative two we can take sorry negative two low one negative two low one and then we add two row two we add two row two we add it to row 2 and this one should give us our new row our new row 2 now our new row 2 and how do we achieve that so we have said we take negative 2 we multiply it by row 1 and then we add row 2 we add row we add it to row 2 so for us to get our first our first element in row uh, one low two will be negative two in bracket we multiply by one which is in row one then we add it to two and this one will result to zero will result to zero and then we also have negative two multiplied by one then plus four this one will result to two will result to two and then we have negative two in bracket we multiply by two then we add plus minus three and this one will result to negative seven negative seven and then the other one we have negative two uh, in bracket we multiply it by nine what is in row one and then we add to one and this will result to negative 17. so in short now i'll have a new element as one and the one remember the first one they are not changing to and then now my second row i'll have zero and then two negative seven negative seven then i have three and then i have six and then i have a negative five then i have negative five and all these uh they are in bracket so they're in that bracket in that bracket like that and then here i have uh, my nine 
this one is equals to 9 and then here this one is equals to 17 this one is equals to 17 and then the other one this one is equals to 0 and then this one are also in that blanket they are also in that blanket and then remember on the other side on the other side I have X and I have my Y and I have my Z and then this one are also covered like that so now for us the next thing that I need to make I need to make 3 I reduce 3 to 0 this 3 to 0 so and how do I achieve that I achieve that by uh, making my new row 3 my new row uh, 3 will be equivalent to my new row 3 will be equivalent to uh, will be equivalent to I take negative 3 I take negative 3 and then I multiply it with the hull with the hull one and then this one I add it to my low I add it to my low 3 I add it to my low dream so this one gives me my new uh, dream so in short what I'm saying is uh, uh, I'm supposed now to take negative 3 uh, negative 3 then I add to low 1 low 1 I have 0 row 1 I have 0 there, uh, 1 there so I multiply negative 3 multiply by 1 then I add to 3 and this one should give me a 0 this one should give me a 0 and then I also have negative 3 multiply by 1 then plus 6 this one should give me a positive 3 and then I have a negative 3 plus and multiply by 2 plus negative 5 and this one should give me a positive uh, a negative what a negative 11 should give me a negative 11 negative 11 and then I have the other one last which is negative 3 in bracket 9 then plus 0 this one should give me a negative 27 a negative 27 so in short now my new values will be my new values will be 1 my new value sorry will be 1 then I have 1 then I have 2 then I have 0 and then I have two and then I have a negative seven I have negative seven and then I have zero I have zero and then I also have three and I have negative eleven I have negative eleven this one in crossed and this one on the other side I have nine I have negative seventeen and then I have negative 20 a negative 27 and this one should give me the values at the end X and A and Z so the next thing for me now to do is to try and make my uh, 2 here in low 2 to be 1 to be one and how do I how do I make that to be one? I need to make that by one by taking by taking my new row two. My new row two will be given by a half maybe row row two. A half row two. So remember in our previous session uh, session I was left with uh, zero. So when I had this so I'll have negative uh, uh, 1 multiplied by 0 then multiply by that so at the end of the day I'm going to remain with 1 1 2 then uh, I'm going to have 0 uh, 1 then negative 7 out of 2 negative 7 out of 2 and then here I have 0 3 then negative 11 negative 11 and then on the other side I have 9 I have negative 17 out of 2 and then I have negative 27 
negative 27 and remember our end goal is for us to get x y and z x y and z so the next thing that i need to get i also need to get this other column here so for me to get that the other row is to reduce the row that i want to reduce is my three here is my these three to be zero to be zero so i need to have my new row three now my new row three now will be equivalent to a negative three row three negative three row two sorry row two then added to row three added to row three added to row three so if i take these my new row three now i'll take three negative three multiplied by zero plus zero which should give me a zero and then i also have negative three uh, multiplied by one plus three which should also give me a zero and then i have the other one is negative three multiplied by negative seven out of three added to eleven negative eleven and this one should result to uh, 21 out of 2 minus 11. So if you put 2 and 1 LCM, it becomes maybe 21 minus 22, which should give me a negative half, which should give me a negative half. And then on the other side, I'll have negative 3 multiplied by 17 out of 2 minus minus 2, which should give me a negative 51 all over 2, then plus 27. So this one is equivalent to negative 51 plus 54 out of 2, which should give me a negative 3 divided by 2, a negative 3 divided by 2. So in other words, what I mean, I should now come up, I should have 1, should have 1, maybe another 1, 2, this is my new value then I have 0 I have 0 then I have 1 negative 7 out of uh, 2 we have negative uh, 7 out of 2 and then also I have here on this here I have a 0 also and then I have uh, 3 0 negative half and this one covered like that i also have uh, nine i have nine and then i have negative seven out of two and then i have negative three out of two negative three out of two this one should give me the x y and z remember that so now now remember I have already achieved one one zero one zero zero. So the next thing for me it is try to make the row three that are negative half there to be one. And how do I make that? I can make this negative half to be one to be one by multiplying negative two row three. This one should give me the new now row row three negative row three so if i multiply by that that one is so obvious so i'll have one one uh two and then the second remember the first row is not changing the first row is not changing the second row still is not changing it is still zero one then negative seven out of two and then the third row now it is what we have the new numbers so if you take zero negative two you multiply by zero you get a zero there and then you take a zero you multiply that is negative two you multiply by a zero also you get a zero and then if you take negative uh, two then you multiply by negative a half you get a positive one there and then the other side if you uh, multiply uh, negative 3 that is uh, we are multiplying negative 3 out of 2 multiplied by negative 2 we are supposed to get here a positive 3 
remember the second row is not changing so it remains to be negative 17 out of 2 and the other first row is not changing so it remains to be 9 and this one when we multiply we are supposed to get the value of x y and also z so now the next thing it is for me to try and make negative 7 out of 2 to be a 0 negative 7 out of 2 to be 0 so that's 0 so and for us to make that to be 0 if we multiply the first row is not changing so it remains to be 1 1 2 and on the other side we have 9 we have 9 on the other side so the second row is the one that we are affecting and how are we affecting it we are affecting it by uh, multiplying by multiplying uh, 7 so this one we can multiply by 7 out of 2 al al 3 then plus al 2 to give us our new al 2 to give us our new al 2 to give us our new al 2 so if you take 0 that we have in our previous uh, so 0 you multiply it that is uh, 7 out of 2 multiplied by 0 then added to 0 so it means here we are going to have a 0 and then if you take a negative 7 out of 2 multiplied by 0 in the third row and then added to 1 in the second row here we are going to have 1 and then if you take negative uh, 7 out of 2 multiplied by 1 in the third row then added to negative 7 out of 2 in the second row so here we are going to have 0 and then here we are going to have uh, we have 7 out of 2 multiplied by what we have in the third row which is 3 then plus what we have in the second row which is negative 17 out of 2 in this scenario if you had them you get uh, 21 uh, then plus minus 7 17 out of 2 which gives us a 4 out of 2 which is equals a 2 which is equals to a 2 and then uh, the third row remember it is not affected so it is not changing so it is 0 0 1 and then 3 and this one should give us the value of x y and z and from that perspective you can already see the third row we have reduced it so it gives us the value of z as 3 so we shall see when it gets to there so the next number that we need to reduce it to uh, 0 let us reduce 2 to 0 let us reduce 2 to 0 and how do we reduce the 2 to 0 we can reduce that 2 to 0 by taking our new row 1 now to be negative 2 row negative 2 row 3 negative 2 row 3 then plus row 1 plus row 1 so if you take that number to be that so we are going to have uh, the first value will be negative 2 plus multiplied by 0 plus 1 and remember any number multiplied by 0 is a 0 so plus 1 this one becomes a 1 it becomes a 1 and then the other one is negative 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 remember any number multiplied by 0 is a 1 so this one is also 1 and then the last one is going to be negative 2 multiplied by 1 then added to 2 which will give us now a 0 there which will give us a 0 there and then on the other side we have this one on the other side which is negative 2 maybe multiplied by 3 which should give us a positive 3 a positive 3 and then the second row is not changing so it is 1 0 1 0 and then 2 and then the third row is not affected so it is 0 0 also then 1 and then 3 
and then three so then the next thing the next number that we need to make it to be a zero also it is the second one here the second one and how do we make it to be zero so we are going to have our new row one again will be given by negative row two negative row two plus row one negative row two negative row two plus row one so in this perspective we can have the first one which will be negative we have said is negative row two added to the low one so the first number remember we are not affected the first one which will be z negative zero which is a zero then added to one it automatically give us a one and then we have negative two we have a negative uh, one added to one on the first row this one should give us a zero and then zero negative zero added to a zero it will give us a zero and then the second the other number there we shall have negative two negative two added to a positive three this one should give us a positive a positive one should give us a positive one and then we also have the other values is not changing so here it is a zero and then here it is a one and then here it is a zero and here we have a zero a zero and a, a one then remember these ones have not changed so it is a two and this one is a three and this one should give us the values of x y and z x values and z so in this perspective this one is an identity matrix that we have formed and remember identity matrix is like a one in the normal decimal numbers so any number multiplied by one becomes a, a one so at the end we are going to remain if we multiply identity matrix with the matrix that is uh, on the other side we are going to remain with one uh, two and three and this one should be equals to the var x uh, y and z so now from here we can deduce and say that our x is equals to one our y is equals to two and our z is equals and our z is equals to three and our z is equals to three so you can go back and plug them to see if it gives us the result and to my case i'm hundred percent sure they will give us and that's bring us to the end of this session i was your trainer uh, morris monene if you found it of benefit to you please consider subscribing like and share it so that it can reach more and more to have the same uh, knowledge thank you